السلام عليكم ازيكم hello everyone hello doctor Okay, uh, if you can uh, watch the PowerPoint file and if you can hear my voice, please say you do. Please tell me that everything is fine. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Will you see me? Will you see the PowerPoint? Yeah, I will. Yeah. Okay. Uh, today I'm not going to spend much time because actually I'm so sick. Uh, I wanted to postpone the meeting, but it was too late. Uh, uh, let me go through uh, some slides with you and then I will finish soon. Um, so uh, if, if you have downloaded the material from the university website, you will find uh, this at the start. Uh, I wish everyone will prepare a, an answer to uh, these questions and the answers uh, could be very brief. What are some of the benefits of a speaking course as we explained in class? We did explain uh, this uh, at the very beginning and I want everyone uh, to write an answer to such a question. It seems theoretical but I intend uh, to ask you to invite you uh, to assign you the task of uh, answering such a question as it is very important. Speaking is really beneficial. It is rewarding. It helps a lot uh, in a number of ways. It helps your grammar. It helps your speaking skills. Uh, it helps your writing skills. It helps your reading skills, understanding skills, communication skills. Uh, so one of the basic skills in learning English is speaking and it is not just uh, uh, people uh, speaking together, it's language uh, that is in interaction. Uh, okay, and then how could you improve your speaking skills? I said that over and over again. I want you to go back to the lectures and to remember the techniques or the tools that could help you develop or improve your speaking skills. And uh, the third question is actually uh, uh, a summary of the first uh, two ones. Is it just speaking? When we learn speaking, do we depend on speaking only? Do we concentrate on speaking only? Of course not. We have to deal with a number of things, as I just said. In every session you will read, pay attention to the following in the book. Uh, you have to understand the following. Uh, this is uh, one. The other thing before I complete is the booklet that you have and that you stopped working on once we have had the vacation. The booklet should be uh, with, uh, with you uh, as you study in the textbook and I want you to uh, pay attention uh, to what I said a number of times in classroom. Uh, so, uh, as far as I remember, page 16, number 62, what are some things you want to accomplish before you die? Uh, I want everyone to write uh, their own um, conversation, their own dialogue, uh, their own imagined uh, dialogue between uh, two people, like someone asking someone uh, answering. And you have a few ideas here. Uh, you could write your answer in the spaces uh, provided, not just under this title actually, but even in the margin, even on the page in front of you, uh, no problem. Uh, so keep that uh, in the booklet until I tell you what to do uh, with it, inshallah. But I want you to make of the booklet uh, something very important as it will help you to practically, uh, uh, you know, 
um, write your own conversations or think of your own uh, conversations. Uh, also, um, I have prepared a number of items, but let's take two every time. So th this is page uh, 16, as I said, and number 62. And you understand the talk? Yeah. So uh, what yeah. is the task? What is your task now? What is your job? Huh? Did you yeah, please? Ayo. Ayo, Ayo, what is your job? Repeat what I said. What did I say? To improve our speaking skills. Uh, no, I'm not sure. 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 I'm uh, in, in the booklet, page 16, there is a topic, uh, uh, number 62, which says, what are some things you want to accomplish before you die? Tamam, uh, Hello, are you following? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, this uh, topic has to be written on. Write your own conversation. to be the proof is in the pudding. Remember? Write your own conversation. اكتب في الهوامش البيضة اللي في الصفحتين اللي قدامك في البوكلت واحتفظ بيهم until I tell you what to do with that. And also page 14 صفحة 14 number 15 Number 50, how should success be measured? And by that measurement, who is the most successful person you know? I want you to write your own conversation as well. Each time, two tasks from the booklet that you have to prepare and to keep in the booklet until the end of the semester. And I will tell you what to do, inshallah. In every session, you will read, pay attention to the following ways you can improve your speaking skills by heeding the pronunciation of new or confusing words. This is what we are going to do every time. What we have been doing, actually, with the book from the start, some grammatical and writing issues, the meanings of certain words. These are the things that uh, will continue with us uh, every time we study speaking, every time, every lecture, I mean. So we will deal with uh, these matters uh, every time. Uh, you shall find links in the book in the form of footnotes taking you to the audio clips uh, you must listen to so that you can grasp the whole idea. Had if you grab the footnote in the top, we push on the link, we give the clips, we smash. Had had American give it might be a summary of the same uh, uh, topic. Yani you can benefit by the same uh, uh, chapter that you have been uh, studying with me. You can make use of that. Uh, it may be a dialogue inspired by, uh, by one of these topics. You can record the conversation and send it. Yes, Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. That's nice. So you can record uh, the conversation and send it to me on this email. You can record it, uh, a short conversation and send it to this email. I will listen to it and evaluate it and tell you if it is mine and tell you of conversation between me and uh, my friend. 
you, uh, and you can imagine a conversation between you, between you and your friend. Yeah, or if you like, if you like, if you like, like to, you can uh, very well uh, work. With your friends. يعني هسمع بي مجموعات من اثنين كل اثنين مع بعض كده كويس. Every two uh, students can uh, work on their own conversations. الموضوعات بقى اللي جايه يعني زي بالظبط ما خدناها سوشيال ميديا انفلونسر وبيج ديتا فاكرين؟ والحاجات دي كلها بالاسئله بتاعتها موجوده في الباور بوينت برزنتيشنز وبروف از ان ده بودينج بس ممكن تلاقي الصوره دي مضافه كانتش موجوده معانا الفار بوينت زهره قدامكم مش كده؟ يس يس تمام او جود ناو ذيس از ا نيو توبيك ذا نيو توبيك از كولد لانجويج ليرنرز اسمه ايه؟ لانجويج ليرنرز لانجويج ليرنرز انا احضر ريدنج هابيتس ريدنج هابيتس موجوده برضو بس ما اعرفش انا حطيتها في السلايد دي ولا لا طيب انتوا معاكم الكتاب صح دلوقتي ايوه معايا ايوه خلاص انا اقرا من ريدنج هابيتس ولو في حاجه تتكتب على السلايد اكتبها ان شاء الله تمام ليت مي ريد ذا ليسن فور يو وهنعتبر القراءه دي هي الايه الفايل الاوديو تيب اللي هو انا عليك الكتاب اتس بيج 5 Reading habits, Sarah. Uh, so Peter, I hear that you love to read. What types of books do you like to read, Peter? I like to. Um, I especially like to read fantasy and science fiction books. I love all kinds of reading, but I guess one of my favorite books come from that genre. So I really, yeah, I really love that kind of book. So what's your favorite fantasy no, genre? I, I think if I had to choose, it would be the Lord of the Rings series. I read it, I think I read it back in high school, and it was one of the most gripping, interesting, fascinating stories I've ever read. And I know it's fiction, and it's an imagined world, but I think at that time, that book was really meaningful to me because it gave me kind of an escape. And I could be busy with this book for weeks and weeks on end. And I actually ended up rereading the book twice or three times. I think because I just fell in love with the characters and stories of adventure and fun and making friends and going through hardships together. And so it was a really meaningful book for me at the time. And then when the movies came out, of course, I went to see them. But somehow it never, although it came close, it kind of never matched up to what I had, what I had going in my imagination. And I think because the book was so imaginative, I've uh, kind of fallen in love with reading science fiction and books about possibilities of how life should be, could be for imaginative lives of people. Yeah. That um, I think that's why I really love that book. Oh, it's very interesting. احنا فين حتى بعد دلوقتي يا شباب؟ خلصنا الصفحة الأولى. عشرين. So next one. Yeah, what about you? Do you read fiction or science fiction or anything fiction related? Not really. I tend to like non-fiction books. صوتك طالع ومش كويس إنه صوتك يطلع ويلغوش علينا كده. Behave please. Not really. I tend to like non-fiction books. Oh, okay. Do you have any favorites from the non-fiction range of books? One that I've read recently. Well, I like reading non-fiction because I like to read things that I can learn something from. <laughs> so I love to read books on culture and religion and different things. Okay. And one of the books I read recently that I really liked was called Spirit of the Rainforest. And it's about a tribe out in the Amazon, and it was told from their perspective. And as like foreigners came in, different anthropologists and their opinion and their views of them and their culture, right? It's really interesting. Wow, it sounds fascinating. Yeah, I've heard that there are tribes that still remain undiscovered in the Amazon. And well, people know about them, but they don't disturb them. Was this one of those 
examples or do you think it's something I think so yeah there were a few examples of people you know that have come in to sort of study them but they always seem to leave nobody seemed to stick around right what was the most interesting part from it for you oh that would be really difficult to say I can't think of anything specific at the moment okay yeah sounds great uh, this is the end of the uh, conversation uh, between Peter and Sarah. Uh, oh, maybe or maybe or Sarah, or Sarah, right? And uh, uh, I remember that you had to read the lesson, not that you read it. How many people read it? Yes. 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 Uh, but Sarah, I, uh, I'm very impressed uh, uh, in the first uh, term of this year, uh, you found a lot of trouble uh, coping with the department and liking the department, but I think that by now things are a great deal better for everyone, I'm yeah. I'm uh, yes. a lot of improvement. Even if you were in the first term between the first and the second term, you were able to get rid of it after three years. There's a feeling of clarity, inshallah. So vocabulary, أنا بقول ده يمكن بعض الأهالي تسمع الكلام ده وتنبسط من ولادهم ومن قسم إنجليزي اللي خلى ولادهم كده. And I'm glad that I had a part to play in this uh, beautiful improvement. So gripping, I will tell you, and then gripping, the most gripping, interesting, fascinating stories. So when you uh, have something gripping, it's something that attracts your attention. It's fascinating. It's attractive. I thought it was kind of narrow, but kind of one of the most gripping stories. Yani, very interesting. The movie was gripping. I couldn't stop watching it. When when something is gripping, you you do not stop it. You know, you keep watching. You you keep following because it attracts your attention so much. It's mesmerizing. Think I'm feeling crazy. I'm talking about the story. Or I'm at the new slide. Show the camera. كل كلمة أنا بتكلم عنها في الكلاس مش موجودة في الكتاب بتبقى جزء من الملحق صح؟ So what is that word? That word. يا دكتور. لا بس أنا لا كده أرى ال الكلام اللي ظاهر دلوقتي. Enthralling. Fascinating. Spellbinding. Absorbing. Compulsive. Attractive. نفس نفس المعنى تمام؟ Cat. Or do cat. Huh? Captivating, ممكن جدا برافو شام صح؟ Non-fiction. What is قبل uh, non-fiction عندنا on end. For weeks and weeks on end. يعني one end means continuing without stopping. لما أقول I uh, kept studying um, math for weeks and weeks on end. يعني without stopping. All the time. زي كده. Uh, on end means continuing without stopping. I worked on the project for days on end. I had no break. I had no interval at all in the middle. I kept working and working. For years on end, she practiced volleyball every day. every day. So uh, weeks on end, uh, years on end, uh, days on end. on end is the Without stopping. The plot of the story and the things that are all But if there is a book that explains the story itself Like aspects of the novel by Ian Forrester for example Or a short history of English literature Any book that talks about the story is not fiction It's non-fiction كتاب الجغرافيا is non-fiction كتاب التاريخ is non-fiction sociology, physiology, psychology, biology حتى عن كورونا و COVID-19 do you understand الحاجات دي كلها اللي هي ما فيهاش plot و story و imagination و setting و characters و metaphors و الحاجات دي كلها يعتبر ايه non-fiction I tend to like non-fiction books non-fiction is through information not an imagined story شفت بقى التعريف it is not imagined فممكن جدا في الامتحان يجي لنا true or false a non-fiction 
is a book that uh, deals with the imagination or that has an imagined story. I think the right answer is no. Mishkana? Notice yes. the following. I like love stories, yeah. but I love to read non-fiction. So love stories, fiction. إنما الحاجات الثانية non-fiction أعتقد بتشرح نفسها tribe برضو نفس الشيء it's about a tribe, a tribe out in the Amazon أول ما أقول tribe يجي في دماغي الكلمة دي الشاطر يقول لي الكلمة اللي بتيجي في قبيلة قبيلة حلو حلو شكرا شكرا يا شباب على الترجمة أسعدتوني والله I mean in English what is it that comes Um, they are a group of people related okay. by marriage. Hello. Ethnic. To your mind, once you hear the word try. Trib. Trib, no. They are a group of people uh, yes, related by Married. <laughs> is a small of group uh, a small group of people or society usually this refers to native local people to native local people that are tribes in A tribes in amazon amazon maruf in of the latin america there were many wars between the different tribes the leader of the tribe is a wise man what is to stay around Oh, uh -huh. uh, 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 to stick around is to stay in one place. Notice the following. To remain in one place. Zay al amsila il udami bil wat. Yani. Sorry. Doctor. Uh, if you stick around until 3 p.m. Oh, I'm not sure. Don't worry, you won't be infected. Which you can. So if you stick around, that is the same. If you stay, if you wait, Did you come another in the same place. All right. Marish by an attack again. Then I I cannot uh, continue more than that. I wish you would uh, do the next four uh, exercises on page eight for next time, or you can just simply send me an email with your answers. You can send it. Uh, this is my university email. Uh -huh. What no. no. uh -huh. uh -huh. فأعتقد الناس اللي من من ضفتش هي اللي ما دفعتش الفلوس والله أعلم ده تفسيري أنا يعني أنا عندي 216 انتو 300 الباقيين دول يعني بعثوا لي برضو وأنا أحاول من ناحيتي بس أعتقد it has to do with the fees that you have not paid المرة الجابة هناخد إيه هناخد language learners تمام بيتي كم نشوف كده which page 118 
118 تمام يبقى احنا خدنا النهارده ايه؟ تمام ريدنج هابيتس وخدنا انتروفيرس اند اكستروفيرس مش كده؟ ذا بروف ان ذا بروف از ان ذا بودينج هنعمل على بس على اي حال احنا المره اللي جايه هناخد ايه؟ لانجويج ليرنرز ثانك يو فيري ماتش فور شوينج اب ثانك يو اي بروميس نيكست تايم ويل بي بيتر ذان ذس السلام عليكم Thank you.